everybody this is iram from alamkul and uh, and today we will be discussing about the addition reaction and the substitution reaction and in the last class we discussed uh, about these na combustion and oxidation reduction hydrocarbons so today's lecture we will be discussing these two topics addition and substitution now what is addition reaction so addition reaction first we will go through with the definition part reaction in which a reagent completely add to a reactant reagent is completely reacting to to what sorry re ha reagent is completely add to a reactant without the removal of small molecules now let me tell you the first uh, very important difference between the addition and substitution reaction uh is that uh, ki your addition reaction is basically unsaturated type and your substitution reaction is basically saturated type now i will explain why i am telling this unsaturated and saturated so here when we will go with this um with this reaction so here what i wrote i wrote c double bond carbon and some a2 b2 anything we can take and as example a2 b2 c2 okay so a2 and here i took c triple bond plus b2 now why i am not taking the single bond why i am taking only double or triple bond because we already discussed that unsaturated uh, compounds are alkenes and alkynes that they are not alkanes and your saturated is basically alkene your saturated compound is what is your alkenes uh, okay just let me show you Uh, um where is it yeah here yeah. so here we discussed now that hydrocarbons is basically of two types saturated hydrocarbons and unsaturated hydrocarbons so saturated is what a carbon with a with a carbon which is linked with only a single bond that is your alkene and when a carbon is linked with two or more than like double or triple bond so that's your unsaturated so unsaturated means double or triple and your saturated means uh, single which is your alkene and this is your alkene and this triple is your alkyne okay so now here this is what this is your unsaturated it means the c double bond uh, c or c triple bond see this is what this is your unsaturated that's why sorry ha huh, this is your unsaturated because it is double or triple that's why i'm writing here unsaturated hydrocarbons and hydrocarbon means it basically a combination of two which is your hydrogen and the carbon now here i wrote this carbon with uh, here I, i i expanded this equation the carbon double bond uh, carbon plus a2 a2 means a bond a so this is what this is your unsaturated compound why because your double bond is there now what will happen see this is your unsaturated now unsaturated plus a n plus a2 now if these two will react this will form like this c single bond a and again carbon which is single bond a so this single bond is your saturated compound means in addition reaction what is happening the unsaturated hydrocarbons is basically converting into a saturated hydrocarbons the double we can write or we can write the triple bonds is basically converting into a single carbon bond okay so this was your addition reaction very simple this is the uh, this one is the easy this is the easy definition Sim, uh, simple module added to an unsaturated compound to form a single parent here this is your single module a2 or b2 is your single module which is added to your unsaturated compound which is your double or triple bond to form a single product this is what this is your single product Sim, single product means this is your unsaturated compound okay so the simple module is added this is your simple module which is added to your unsaturated to form a single product which is your saturated compound now in this um, addition reaction we have two more types which is your hydrogenation and one is your halogenation hydrogenation means the addition of hydrogen okay the hydrogenation means what the addition of your hydrogen means this is obviously this is unsaturated compound because this is a subtopic of your addition reaction only so in this 
we will considering alkenes or alkynes now here this is what this is the unsaturated means the double bond and when the double bond plus your h2 when i am when this is reacting with uh, and the catalyst is your nickel palladium or platinum so these are when these are reacting with these catalyst so they are forming a single product and this is your single product where the double bond is converted into a single bond and this is what how many carbons two carbons and uh, hydrogen six so c2h6 which is your ethane and an is your what an is your saturated in and ion is unsaturated in is saturated okay so this is the hydrogenation means the addition of hydrogen so here we added the hydrogen in the unsaturated compounds this is your hydrogen which is added to your unsaturated compound and with the help of catalyst which is nickel uh, uh, palladium and platinum we are converting the unsaturated compounds into a saturated compound which is your ठीक है तो ये होता है हाइड्रोजनेशन जिसमें कि एडिशन ऑफ हाइड्रोजन करके वी आर कन्वर्टिंग इनटू ए सैचुरेटेड अनसैचुरेटेड कन्वर्टेड इनटू सैचुरेटेड नाउ दिस इज द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ हाइड्रोजनेशन सो हियर व्हाट इज दिस दिस इज योर वेजिटेबल ऑयल प्लस ऑब्वियसली द हाइड्रोजन विल बी एडेड एंड इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ निकल एज अ कैटलिस्ट वी आर कन्वर्टिंग दिस वेजिटेबल ऑयल इनटू ए वेजिटेबल घी सो दिस वी uh usually use in use for the cooking purpose now this is halogenation so we uh, discuss this hydro and this is now halo so halogenation is what halogenation means the fluorine chlorine bromine and iodine which is belonging to your group 17 in the periodic table and this is the addition of halogens what is halo halo means your carbon and gen means the formation means the salt formation halo means salt and gen means formation okay so here see again the double bond means this is your addition reaction so the double bond the unsaturated compounds uh, which is reacting with any halogen so that's why i'm writing x here x means any halogen fluorine bromine iodine anything now this is reacting and converting this into a saturated one which is your single single bond everywhere okay so this is done addition means unsaturated unsaturated will be converted into a saturated now we will discuss what is the substitution reaction so first we will go through this definition the reaction in which the involve of direct replacement of an atom or group of atom in an organic molecule means uh, what is happening here the in direct replacement of atom is happening like atom is replaced from one place to another place so the replacement of atoms um or a group of atom by another atom or a group of atom without any change in the rest of molecules now your substitution reaction is your saturated reaction it means this will contain alkanes and this is basically alkanes means your paraffins para means less and this uh, the meaning of this is your attraction means this is less reactive than your addition reaction substitution is less reactive than your addition so here if we will take one example this is the obviously your uh, single bond single bond means uh, saturated okay so single bond this is uh, here here the r is combining with any x element and plus y and here see the displacement of y and x okay the replacement we can say also the direct replacement substitution of x with y means here the x was there and when we did this reaction the y took the place of x so this is basically the substitution of anything onto the anything okay the substitution of x with y this is the chlorination of methane this also this is also a subtopic of your substitution reaction here we are taking the carbon with four uh, hydrogens plus your chlorine and with the presence of sunlight this is forming this uh, see now here what is happening your your replacement is happening or uh, like here the substitution of x and y occurs so here also substitution is happening that your hydrogen your carbon is coming in the place of hydrogen like here and your hydrogen is going in the place of carb uh, chlorine hcl is what hcl is hydrochloric acid and uh, this is the substitution of um, this uh, chlorine in the place of your 
hydrogen. So this process is known as chloromethane. Okay, one more example. Here also chlorine, chlorine and H and here this is what dichloromethane, the carbon, chlorine, chlorine, dichloro means 2 chloro. Okay, so 2 chloro and then your HCl. So that was very easy. The addition reaction and the substitution reaction. Addition means just quick um, review. What is addition? Addition means your unsaturated is basically combining with any kind of a um, the reagent is added to your reactant and then this is forming a single product. It means your the unsaturated is basically combining and then forming a single product which is your saturated compound so that was your addition addition means unsaturated to saturated and in addition we discussed these two examples uh, that are the subtopics hydrogenation and halogenation hydrogenation means the addition of hydrogen like here we added hydrogen in the unsaturated group of compounds here the hydrogen we added and with the help of these catalysts nickel palladium and platinum what we did we converted this uh, unsaturated group into a saturated group so this is the whole process is known as hydrogenation and this is the application that we are using the vegetable oil and plus this h2 with the help of this heat the nickel we are converting it in, uh, we are converting it into a, a vegetable ghee and the halogenation halogenation means the addition of halogens the salt so here we are taking any kind of a salt the means the unsaturated group of compounds is converted into a saturated the single single bond lastly we discussed what is substitution reaction substitution means the reaction in which the in let me delete this then it will be easy for you guys to read okay so the reaction in which the involve or involve the direct replacement of an atom or group of atom into a organic molecule by some another atom so here the uh, x is uh, the y is getting substituted in the place of x the substitution of x with y here y is substituted and what about here the chlorination of methane this is uh, the chlorine is basically coming into the place of your hydrogen and hydrogen is combining with your chlorine so this is known as chloromethane why chloromethane because only one chlorine and if there is two chlorine then what we will write we will write dichloromethane just simply and if two things we will there we will always write di for a chemistry so yeah uh, that's it for today's lecture and uh, tomorrow we will discuss about these the fuels and flames fuels okay we will discuss about this the fuels and flame fuels so till then keep watching thank you for watching don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button thank you bye bye take care